Welcome back to Sip the Tata Films, aka The Crib. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today's topic, Adafi Owe. What he did in his rookie campaign and what we need to expect from him in 2022 to help us reach that next level. Roll the intro. Alright, before we get in the video, one thing that we got to do, like the video. You know, if you like the content, like it. If you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and hit that bell so you can be notified when these videos drop. Um, I set a um, like goal last time for 200 likes. I really underestimated uh, the following. So now we're going to set this one for 400 likes. Set the goal for this video for 400 likes. Uh, a lot of people came through and showed love. I really underestimated you guys, so now I'm going to set the bar a little higher. Let's get this video to 400 likes. Now let's get into the film. Go through his uh, rookie stats. He had five sacks, uh, 33 tackles, five TFLs. We want those definitely to go up at least to, to 15, 20. Uh, 15 QB hits, we'd like that to go up to around 20, 25, 30. Um, no interceptions, which is fine because I want him rushing the QB. I don't want him dropping in the flats. Uh, one pass deflected, three forced fumbles, and two fumble recoveries. Uh, and this all comes from a guy that I really was disappointed when we drafted him. But he definitely proved me wrong, you know, early in his um, NFL career with the Ravens. All right, so let's get started. Adolfi always spot shout out down here. This game is versus the, the Dolphins. He just takes on the tackle. He is right here. Wide, wide, wide nine. And what I was told was when guys get this wide, it helps with the angle uh, for pass rush. It helps this guy get a better angle and makes him work harder to get to set the age. Now, he has to protect the edge. He has to, but he has help on the edge. So what Owe does is try to work the inside of him. He, he, null, he nullifies this guy by just stepping inside, making it look like he was going to step inside, but then taking him head on. So he don't, all he does is get a hand on him, which really is not much, and he probably going to release him flex, I'm assuming. He does. So now it's one-on-one -on -one with this tackle. Got him pressed out. Didn't overrush. And what I mean by overrush is get here and then allow the quarterback to step up. Got to a certain point and then worked his way back inside. Quarterback stepped up. He changed directions. He got off. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, this guy right here, if that's who I think it is. Is that Bowser or is that Houston? That's Bowser. I want to say I, I thought that was Bowser. But I'm sure this is Bowser. Helped him a lot in learning, learning what to do, learning what moves to use, learning when to use power, when to use speed, when to convert speed to power, when to go power back to speed. Because that's why he called him Yoda. Let's go to the next play. And him and Houston got, you know, half a sack on that one. All right, here against the Raiders. Watch this. this him being able to move this quick in tight spots is what's really going to make him a special individual. This is a stunt with him and McPhee. And he got there so quick that um, the guard didn't even see him. And I didn't even notice this, you know, early in the year. We watched this game a bunch of times. Always really the reason that we get an interception on this. Granted that, you know, um, shoot. I forget the receiver for, for the Raiders. Renfro. Randy Renfro, you know, it hit him in the hands. Watch how fast Owe get there and watch how how quick and you know Carl tries to get rid of. He's not expecting this. He's, he feels Owe, he's just gonna sling it. So even though, you know, Avery gets credit for the sack and he's open. So I can't say, you know, who we covered him, he's open. Avery gets credit for the deflection. It's really Owe that makes this this play. And that's probably one of them QB hits because of the pressure. The, the guard tries to come off of him. 72 tries to come off of him. Just too quick. Just too quick. 
always makes this play. And I didn't even notice it until I was doing this film. This is, you know, the team reaped the benefits of it, but Owe, he got after it. Here he's against the Razor again. Great move. Great move. Great. That's a great set of moves. Well, it's like two two moves. It's a initial move, then it's a counter. Here he is right here. Probably gonna check the tight end first. Go outside. Misses the slap. So, so the tackle gets hands on it. Now he's, he goes with the rip. Sees the quarterback start to step up. And the tackle overcompensates. And I think this is Leatherwood. Y'all let me know if this is Leatherwood. I don't know the Raiders numbers. So if this is Leatherwood, this is probably Ricky too. Watch him spin back inside. Right the way he needs to be. Now at this point, there is no chance in hockey sticks that he's going to outrun all the way. This man ran a 4-3 at the combine. Come here, boy. And again, I... He proved me wrong early in his career. This, the Raiders game was game one. And he had more stats and more sacks in that game than he had his entire junior or whatever year his last year was in college. Look at the get off. <laughs> the get off is so good, the tackle starts complaining. The get off is so good, the tackle starts complaining. That first step. One, he's already about to hit the second step and the tackle just not moving. That's speed. That's just straight speed rush. Straight win. That's one of the force fumbles. That's, that, that's knowing the cadence and timing it up and then just blowing by the tackle. This is against the Chiefs. Now, you'll see it later on in, in the film. He plays... His, when he has C-gap, he plays it well. And for some reason, he checks the tackle on this. This is Orlando Brown. For some reason, he checks the tackle. Tackle blocks out, so he decides to come in. And all he does is just stick that, stick this off hand right here and just happen to get the hands on it. Ball out. Just being aware. Because he knew he couldn't get he knew he couldn't make the tackle because this guy started to push him out. So he just sticks that off hand across his body. Hits the ball. Ball out. Another force fumble. Early in the year now, because we played the Raiders and the Chiefs early in the year. Again, prove me wrong early, early in the year. And I don't know how well we can see it, but let's let's see. Checks the, checks the tackle. Or whatever, whatever the play is, he probably had to attack the, the tackle. Tackle blocks out. He works his way back in. That, that right hand is about to be. He just reaches in there and punches it. He just reaches in there and punches it. Let's, let's follow the right hand. Boom. Punch right on the ball. Knocks it out. Great awareness. Great awareness by a rookie. Great awareness by a rookie. All right. This is versus the Dolphins. This is Bowser beside him. This is uh, Owe right here. Again, working in quickness in tight spaces. Quickness in tight spaces. A little stun, I think. Right here. Taking the guard. Going to play off of Calais. Calais going to attack him. He going to loop right in that, 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 that gap right there. And it really helps that the center tries to overpower Calais because Calais don't really care about that. Him taking Calais like this provides the alley right there where he want to go. And once once he gets here, here, it's not very many quarterbacks not named Lamar Jackson that's going to outrun him. Lamar maybe Lamar maybe Kyler maybe the only people that can get away from this cat at this point. Because again, he's 4-3-40. Maybe not now. Maybe not fully dressed, but 4-3-40. This is against the Raiders again. So look how many plays he made versus the Raiders early. Like I said, he erased my doubts early in his career. This is the play I love. Tackle for loss. 
I'm gonna show you why I love it. Cause he got the C gap, so he has he has a quarterback if if it's like some kind of stretch away. The quarterback's here, so if they run in some kind of stretch this way or whatever, he has to make sure the quarterback don't boot out. That's what he got, and you'll see his path kind of go toward the quarterback. Realize the quarterback don't have it, and then come flat down the line. I know my line ain't flat, but he'll come flat down the line and go right into the tackle. I got bootleg. I got bootleg. My, my angle's at the quarterback, at the mesh. Okay, now I, know the, now I know the quarterback don't have it. Now I'm coming flat. As soon as he had to stop his feet, he had to stop his feet because of, you know, Queen and I think this is Campbell or whoever this is and Juicy and, and whoever it is filling up over there. He had to stop his feet trying to find a cutback and he hit the mouth because he came flat. Now, if he takes this 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 hard angle up here, if he takes that angle, he's still taking this angle at, at car. So he'd be right here now. He'd be right here now. And when he starts to cut back or stop his feet, he can maybe slip. Slip right through there. But because he comes flat, there's no way for him to go. Nowhere. And you could say Humphrey was there too, but that's always job. That's always job. Seal off that backside. Especially once he realizes the quarterback don't have the ball. And that's one that and that to me that's one of his favorite plays because it, it's just fundamentally sound. And, you know, all the sacks, all the forced fumbles, that right there was one of his my favorite plays from from uh, cutting up his uh clips. Against the Dolphins again. Playing the run. Playing the run, not just a pass rusher. Not just a pass rusher. Here he is here. Playing around. Tight end. Can't do nothing with him. Presses him out. Get him out the way. Slides inside. Gets in on tackle. Him and Calais. The tight end is not really, not really messing with him. And again. Oh, let me change this. So back back to my overall. He did a, a phenomenal job to me in his rookie campaign. We're definitely going to need him to be better. We need him to produce more um, because of the, the guys coming off the injuries on the back end. We're going to be a, a year older on the back end, a little, little younger on the back end. So if they, him, and other guys up front can get more pressure on the QB, uh, stop the run like Baltimore Ravens normally do, the defense is well-equipped on paper with him, I'm going to say, leading the way. But with him being one of the leaders, even though it's only his second season. Um, another year learning from Campbell. I don't know if Houston's going to come back, but if he does, another year learning from him. Um, paired with o, uh, Ojabu later on in the year. Uh, with Dalen Hayes coming back. With you know, Ty's coming back, you know, eventually. Up front, I think the, the future looks good. Well, the, the future for this season looks good for the Ravens. So, you know, Odafi always shut my mouth. He was the first person who made me just straight up eat crow on this channel. And, um, you know, I was completely wrong. But, hey, good for the Ravens. Good for him. And I think we're going to expect – well, I expect big things from him this year. So, again, if, you have, if you're still here, like the video. The like goal is 400. Uh, you guys showed out in the last video with the goal of 200. And um, I'll see you guys soon, man. Peace.